In this video, we're going to show you how to unbox and set up the Gaja Classic. Here we have a machine, brand new in a box. Cut the tape. There's a lot of ways to unbox it, but we'll do the one, this one this way. We'll take the box, flip it over. Cut the seal here, and we'll just pull them up, pull that out. Again, I'll take this and I'll just flip this over and it'll come right out. Okay, you have the machine. Here's your drip tray that comes with it. And your water reservoir. Now, in the water reservoir, you have this chrome tube here called the blow-off tube. To get the reservoir out, you have to pull that down and out. The reservoir will slide straight out. In there, you'll have your power cord. And on that, you have a plastic tie holding it together. And we'll remove the plastic cover from the reservoir, plastic bag. Now when you put the reservoir in the machine, you can fill it and put it in, or put it in, make sure these two tubes are raised up. When you push the reservoir in, these tubes are down near the bottom of the reservoir. It is possible for them to get curved up and be facing up above the water level in the boiler, or in the reservoir. We don't want that to happen. Now you have your accessory box here. In here we have all sorts of goodies. You have your drip tray. This has a coating on it. You can peel this right off. You have a, what they call a splash guard. And the way that works is that goes inside this drip tray here. Then this goes on top. The drip grate. Put that into the machine. You take your chrome tube, push it down into this hole, and back up into this fitting right here. So when you turn the machine off, after you're done brewing, water will exit through this tube down to the drip tray. The splash guard is to keep the water from splashing up. Now inside your, this handle here is called the portafilter. If you pull out your filter basket here, you'll see in there is a little plastic, what we call a two-way pin. Okay, and here's your, your double shot filter basket, which is used for your ground coffee. Then in our bag, we have some more goodies. We have a coffee scoop, seven gram coffee scoop, a tamper, two more filter baskets, and this is a pod pressurized filter basket Look at the bottom there. So here's your ground coffee pressurized filter basket, and here is your pressure basket, or your uh, non-pressurized filter basket for when you have your own grinder and you want to grind and use your machine in a commercial fashion. Now with your porter filter here, whenever you're using these two pressurized filter baskets, you will want to insert the two-way pin into the opening in the bottom of the porter filter. If you do not, you will have coffee may spray out the sides, so if you ever see coffee spraying out of these sides of this the spouts on the porta filter, you know your two-way pin is not in place. Also, in the bag we have the Panarello wand. This is used for frothing your milk. This is removable for cleaning. Now to install this onto the machine, we remove the top cap here, and then you can put the cap on here, slide this up as high as it'll go, then tighten the cap down. It's on nice and firm. Then push the panorama wand sleeve up onto the wand. That's basically how you set up the machine. Things to keep in mind for the panorama wand is that for some reason you can't get it on to stay on, you gotta make sure you have these particular fittings. You have a rubber gasket 
than a hard plastic gasket. So the way they go in, the rubber gasket goes in the bottom, the hard plastic gasket goes on top. You see what looks like a closed end and, a, and an open end. The open end faces down. You'll see if you, when you look closely at it. Then you put your cap on, again like we showed you before, push it all the way up till it stops, up till it stops, and tighten it down. Now to start the machine up, your initial startup, you'll want to put water in the reservoir. Right through this opening here. Again, you can fill this the reservoir and then slide it in or you can fill it from the top. Don't go over the max line here. Stop on. Take your plug. Now there's a receptacle in the back of the machine where you plug, push the plug into. Right there. And now I'll plug it in back here. And the next procedure is to prime the machine. Place a cup under the brew group, one under the steam wand. Turn on the main power switch, turn on the coffee switch, open the steam knob. It'll take a little while for water to come out. You'll see the water reservoir, water going down in the water reservoir. You see it takes two seconds. Pretty soon we have water coming out of the wand. When you have a full stream of water, close the knob. Make sure you have a full stream of water coming out of the brew group. Turn off the brew switch. The machine is now heating up. Recommend placing your porta filter into the machine. And this temperature ready light will go on after around two minutes, but we recommend letting the machine heat up for 10 minutes before you actually start to brew. So if your machine doesn't prime, and by that I mean if you turn on the, the main power switch, the coffee switch, open your steam knob, your water level does not go down and no water comes out of the steam wand, Turn the machine off, remove the drip tray and your chrome tube, pull the reservoir out. You have two tubes that lead into the machine. This one here leads to the pump. So what we'll do is take some sort of syringe or any, this is a little priming pump, but anything that can create, pull water in and then use that to force the water out. Fill that with water. Put it inside this rubber tube here, which is your water intake tube, to the boiler. Give as good a fit as you can. Then what we're going to do is turn the machine on, open the knob, and force the water into the machine while holding this. You want to do this when the machine is still cold. Power switch on, pump on, force it in. You see it, it, it sucked it in. Turn the machine off. Now the machine will prime fine after that. Put the reservoir back in, all the tubes, and it'll be good to go.